overflows. You are the seed of awakening. Seed of awakening lies deep within each one of you. You are from the very beginning a Buddha. To the very core of your being, you are, are a Buddha. It is your nature. It is like water and ice. Without water, no ice is possible. Outside living beings, no Buddhas are possible. However, you are not aware of this. Buddhahood can only born out, out of each one of you, the living human beings. You do not know it is near, hence you seek it afar. What a pity! It is like one in the water who cries out for thirst. Also, it is like a child of a rich house who has strayed away among the poor. The cause of your circling through the six worlds is that you are on the dark path of ignorance. Dark path upon dark path treading. When shall you escape from the cycle of birth and death? The Zen meditation of Mahayana is beyond all our praise. Giving and morality and other perfections, taking off the name repentance. The entire cosmos is permeated by ever-expanding consciousness or Isha, referring to God. It is your realization now, and once you have realized this, you can enjoy the fruits of the entire cosmos. Then entire cosmos belongs to you, and you belong to the whole. Such is the essence of a spiritual life. Therefore, for that right question and understanding, you will have to prepare the soil of your awareness. If you are not in love, then what to say about God? Even you are not. I was thinking, what should I give you today? Because this is, each day is a dawn of new awakening. I can share with you my love as my awareness as my understanding. But the process of blossoming of the lotus of love requires proper understanding of bioenergy and its channeling in right direction. There exists a synergy between sun, stars and the moon. This synergy becomes light as manifestation of love. So too, Synergy that flows between the master and the disciple one day shall blossom as a realization of truth and it manifests as love. It is love that becomes transcendence and ultimately enlightenment. This is a process how by energy one day becomes awakening and finally enlightenment. Unless you are ready to be nobody, a nothingness, love cannot grow. Love needs a space. And if ego is filling you, if you are too full of yourself, there is no space for your love to grow. Ego has to be uprooted totally. This needs energy and strength. But once you put all your energies in a concentrated way, it becomes possible. It is within your capacity to grow beyond lust into love. Lust is something biological. Love is spiritual. Lust means using the other as a means. Love means that the other has to be respected as an end unto himself or herself. 
lust exploits love gives and goes on giving unconditionally it gives without any idea of return but the beauty and the miracle is that the more you give the more you get the more you give without any motivation the more you become full of love and overflowing suddenly one becomes aware of an inexhaustible source within oneself you can go on sharing you can give your love to the whole universe still you will not be empty just be empty of ego and you will never be empty of love you can go on giving as much as you want you can go on overflowing you were thinking all along that love brings togetherness i am not saying that it does not bring togetherness certainly it brings togetherness but unless you are alone you cannot experience the togetherness you will not understand the essence of togetherness i am talking about i am talking of aloneness as the fragrance of meditation not the outcome of your so called loneliness who is going to be together two persons are needed to be together only two independent persons can be together that togetherness will be rich infinitely rich if both persons are utterly independent of each other on the contrary if they are dependent on each other it is not togetherness it is slavery it is a bondage when you are dependent on the other clinging possessive if you do not allow the other to be alone if you do not allow the other space enough to grow they are enemies not lovers they will remain destructive to each other not helping each other to find their souls and their beings what kind of love is this it may be just fear of being alone that they are clinging to each other but real love knows no fear real love is capable of being alone utterly alone the journey has to begin you have to start working on your solar plexus which is known as manipur chakra or the navel chakra it is also the center of emotions this is it is also known as solar plexus or emotional center it is unique it does not get energy from outside source like from food etc that is why it is significant it generates energy it conserves the energy and it distributes energy shiva calls this center energyless center in mother's womb you were connected to the mother through the umbilical cord for nourishment through the umbilical cord your solar plexus was connected to mother's solar plexus like a capillary system it was bringing nourishment to the baby it is like in the morning the postman comes to the office comes with an empty bag so an empty energy less and he collects all the mails that ha- has come to the office and has been sorted out for distribution he fills his bag goes on for distribution 
and by evening he distributes all the meals and comes back with empty bags. So it is empty on one hand and full of energy on the other. The center does not depend on your eating. It is connected to the cosmic source just as the, ma the mailbag of the postman is connected to the mailing office where or the distribution system where all the mails are collected. It is connected to the cosmic source where energy flows constantly. Shiva calls this energy free or energy filling center. Both things are simultaneous. It is empty because it does not store anything. It is energy free because it does not receive energy from food. Also, it is connected to the cosmic source of energy. Biologically speaking, it is also known as emotional or solar plexus center. It remains tense because of many suppressed emotions that each one of us carries within us. Each one of us carries emotions and these remain stored in solar plexus. So it needs to be relaxed. Breathing is the only way that helps it to release and be renewed again. But breathing has two aspects, inhaling and exhaling. So biologically, it is connected to the solar plexus, the kidneys, the pancreas, the lungs, the stomach, the nervous system and the prostrate gland. So this center is very important in the process of transformation and development of consciousness or blossoming of the inner lotus of love or the seed of awakening or Buddhahood in you. Enough for now.